Hey, this is cool. Welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, this cool design here, and pretty much what this is, is a smart socks. If you guys can see, for the one that we got right here, from a brand called Yuffie, that's under the baby brand. And obviously, since it is from the Yuffie brand, it's also under Anchor brand as well. And for this part in particular, they call the S340 Smart Socks. So it gives you guys like the smart socks, it gives you guys some other accessories, and they also give you like, a camera to actually monitor your kid or your baby, which is really nice. And the bottom right here, they do probably have some specs and feature about the product. If you guys turn on the side right here, they probably have some more specs and feature about the product as well. Same thing for this side. And on the back, they also probably have some more specs and feature about the product. So in terms of the camera, they mentioned how it does give you guys a 2K image quality or video quality. It has clear night vision, so that way you see your kid or your baby at nighttime, even in dark. And for the product, it has a pen option that allows you guys to turn it around, left and right, if you guys do need to. But here is what the package looks like when you guys do get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys do open up, here's what the inside looks like. So it does say easier care always there. And then right there, we do have the product. So let's take everything out. So right here, we do have the baby socks. So this is one of them. They probably got three of them, small, medium, and large. And see right here, it tells you guys to align with the middle toe for your kid when you guys do wear it. And the way how to put it on is a strap on option. So very easy and very simple, you can see. So just like that. Next step right here, we do have the base for you guys to use on the product. And they do indicate on here to show you guys what's on here when you guys do use it. On the back right here, we do have the option for to plug it in to actually recharge it and activate it. And we do have on and off button, and we do have a sync button. Fan part right here, we do have the brand name. And the bottom part does give you guys the option to click it. And supposedly for this part right here, it should light up when you guys do use it, which I will show you in a second. Next step right here, we do have the actual camera. So it does have the brand name and in here light. Top part right here is the lens. And then for this part right here is where you put a micro SD card when you guys do use it. On the side part, it does mention how it is 2K for the video quality. And here we do have the speaker. Same thing on this side. The back part right here, they do have a very cute little tail. And here we do have the option for the plug-in cable to actually activate it. On this side right here, we do have a sync button for the press to sync the product together. And then here is what the bottom part looks like. So they do have the non slim material to prevent it from moving around when you guys do use it. And like I mentioned for the product, when you guys do use it, you do have the option to turn left and right. Or you can turn it up and down as well to different angles, which is really cool. And if you guys do take this part out, in the bottom, we do have more stuff. So it looks like they do probably guys some mounting accessories if you guys need to use it. Inside right here, they do probably the TF card for you to use with the 32 gigabyte. Here, they do probably the screws for you guys to mount the product if you guys need to mount it. And then right here, we do the cable for you to use. So one side is USB to USB-C. And same thing for this one, it's USB to USB-C. So this one's longer than this one. Right here, we do have a little envelope if you guys do open up. Inside, we do have a quick starter guide to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. So let me see how they do probably have instruction to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it inside. And that's everything inside here. In the very bottom, we do have two more box. Let's take it out. Let's open the small one right here first. So inside, we do have two more of the socks. So I'm assuming this is the large one. This is the medium one. And the one that's already on here should be a small one. And we have to open up. Inside, they do tell you guys how much the weight is for your kid when you guys do use it. So this one is 12 to 20 pounds, if you can see. Where for this one right here, this is 12 to 30 pounds. And I'm assuming for the number, it's probably like the age or something. So for the center that's on here, you guys can take it out. I can put it right there. Let me take it out to show you guys how it works. So once you guys do open up, what you guys do is take this part out. It's like a stick-on design, just like that. And if you guys want to put it onto this one, just put it inside and stick it on. Shouldn't be too hard. So just like that. So here is this side, and here is this side. And if it's the first time using the product, you do need to remove the sticker. For now, we don't remove it just yet until we're ready to use it. So the last box that's right here, if you have to open up, Inside, they do probably have a wall charger for you to use for the product. So they do probably have two of them, one for the camera and one for the actual charger. So both of them is USB to two prong option. And that is everything that's included in the package. What I'm gonna do right now is actually connect the product and show you guys how it's set it up. So what I'm doing right now is actually power on the device with this part right here. So this is the charger for the actual sensor that's on the socks. So I wanna do that first before I actually use the camera. So let's do plug it in. Once we do plug it in, it should light up. We wanna remove this part right here as well. Once we do turn it on, if you can see it does turn on. And the way how it charges is actually very easy. Just put it on top like this. Once you guys do that, it will start charging. If you see how the light does turn on. So now that we got that connected, why don't we do it connect the camera? So let's do plug it in. Once we do plug it in, this part right here should turn on. So it might take a few minutes. If you see how it does turn on. If you see how it is moving by itself. So the next step is to download the app, which is the UFI Baby app. Let me do that first. Once you guys finish downloading the app, what you do is create your account if you guys don't have one yet. All right, so once you guys finish creating an account, 
here's what the app looks like. So I'll tell you guys to scan the QR code for both of the products. So let's do a charger first. So to do show you a disclaimer, one click on next, it show you guys step in terms of how to actually set it up. One connect on the same Wi-Fi. So you're gonna click on save button in the back. Once you guys hear the beep, you're gonna click on next. So now it's connecting. So I'll tell you guys connect onto a 2.4 wireless network. So it'll probably take a few seconds a minute. So now it's setting it up. All right, so we got done. We're gonna click on next. It'll tell you guys to update the firmware. So I wanna do that as well. It'll probably take around five minutes. So I'm gonna let that finish first. All right, so we just finished doing the update. So I'm gonna click on done. It'll tell you guys to set up the socks. So I do take it out. Let me move the sticker. And what I wanna do is put this back on. Once you put it back on, you're gonna click on next. And now looking for the socks. Ready to add sock. So it might take a few seconds a minute. Alright, so it's done. Click on next. It tells you how to add a child. So I'll put a random name for now. And I'll put like a random gender. We'll just put today's date. I'll just put seven. I'll do 10 pounds. 10 pounds for now. Just for a sample. And then click on next. And now we can assign the device onto the actual name, which is Chris. So I'll show you guys how to use it. Once you guys got it all set up, here's what the bot looks like. So when you do purchase this product, you do have the option to just buy the socks by itself like this, or you can buy the actual camera with it. If you guys get the socks by itself, then this is all you guys do need. I will connect on the camera in a second. Let me see how on the app it does show you guys that it's charging. So I do take it out. It's not charging anymore. So what I'm doing right now is to actually put it onto my finger and see what happens. Just to do a quick little test to show you guys what will happen. So I'll probably just strap it onto my three fingers. So just like this. So once you guys do strap it on, here's what the product looks like. So I'll show you guys whether or not it's peaceful or show you guys that it's active. So if I try to move my hand around, let's see what happens. And you see how when I move my hand around, it show you guys that it's active. So that's actually pretty cool. So that can keep track of your kid to see whether or not your kid is active or just peaceful. So let me see how when I do stop, it goes back to peaceful. So using the sensor on here to keep track of your kid, let me try to move one more time to show you guys how well it does work. All right, so that is how the product works. It seems very easy and very simple. If I do click right here, they give you guys all these different options as well in terms of the wearing guide, washing guide, and notification, etc. So that is what the product looks like when you guys do use it. Obviously, when you guys put it in kit, it will look a lot better, similar to what you guys can see right here, for example, that I show you guys. So once you guys are done using it, you guys can put it back in right here so that we can start charging. All right, so right here we do have the socks. If you see right here, it does show you guys the status. So right now they're halfway. They're active and peaceful, going to peaceful. So once they're active, it will tell you guys that they are active. And it'll show you guys the heart rate on here as well, if you can see. So right now it's 131 beats per minute. And it'll show you guys that they are calm. So when you guys move the leg, if you see right here, it'll show you guys that it's wiggling and then moving around, which is really cute. So the more it moves, the more active it is. So now I keep track of it to see whether or not they're moving or not. So that is how you guys do use actual socks. It seems very easy and very simple for you to use it. Now I'll show you the actual camera. So what I'm gonna do for the camera is to put the micro SD card in. So feel free to use your own one or you can use the one that's provided for you. So here's the one that's provided. So this one is Kingston. So what I'm gonna do is insert it in right here in the bottom. Make sure it goes all the way in. Once it goes all the way in, you guys wanna peel this part out. Once you guys got that set up, what you can do is add device. So I do press on top. You guys wanna scan the QR code in the bottom. Once you guys do that, you're gonna click on next. And I will tell you guys to press the sync button. So I do press in the back. Once you guys hit a beep, you guys to click on next. And now it's connected to Wi-Fi. So same thing, 2.4 network. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. So same thing for this one, it might take a few minutes. Setup was successful. All right, click on next. And you guys assign it to the kit. It'll tell you how to format the SD card. So I want to do that for now. So it'll probably take a minute. All right, click on next. I'll tell you guys to update firmware. Let me do that as well. This one will probably take around 10 minutes. So I'll let it finish first and we'll come back and talk about it. All right, so we just finished update. I'm gonna click on done. It'll show you guys how to mount it. 
We'll skip it for now. So now it's testing the connection on here. Let me see if it does work. Click on done. And it tells you guys how there is a crime detection option if you guys want to activate it. We'll skip it for now. But once you guys got it set up, here's what the bot looks like. If you guys do turn it on, let me turn down the volume because of the feedback. But here is what the app looks like once you guys finish setting it all up. So this is everything that's on the actual page or the app. So it does have the heartbeat option, the temperature option, show you guys the image video quality on top right here. And the bottom right here, they do have like the usual stuff for the security camera. So they do have a record option, screenshot option, hold to speak option, lullaby and sound. Obviously on regular security camera, it does not have lullaby, but this one does, which is pretty cool. If you guys do raise it up, we do have the more stuff in the bottom. So there is a night vision option, event option, etc. And like I mentioned for the actual product, it does allow you guys to turn it up and down and left and right. So I do test it out. Let's bring it up. Now you can see my face. If you guys bring it down. Now you can see the table. If you guys turn it left and right. It does turn left and right, if you can see. Try the other way. You can see how well it does work. Let me bring it over and show you guys what it looks like when we do use it. So I put it right here. If you guys turn it left and right. That's right. This would be left. Up. Down. You can see how well it does work. So very easy and very simple for us to use it. And I believe on the corner right here, I show you guys the temperature of the room. So right now it's 73 degrees. If you guys tap right here, here is a setting page for you guys to change everything else if you guys do need to. In terms of timestamp, night vision, camera on, camera off, pan tilt option, sound detection, video quality, audio quality, storage, etc. So you do have all these different options available if you guys need to change it. So what I'm doing right now is recorded to show you guys the image quality with and without the light and also night vision to give you guys an idea of what the bot looks like. So the way how I'm going to test this is just using it right here. So I'm just going to hold it like this. And what I'm going to do is record it with the light on and I'm going to turn off the light after. So I'm going to press record. All right, so now we are recording. You can see this is what the image quality looks like when you guys do use it in a bright setting. And this is what the audio sounds like. What I'm doing right now is to turn off all the light and then show you guys the night vision in terms of how well it does work. All right, so I turn off all the light except for one of them. So what I'm doing right now is press record first. All right, so now we're starting to record it. So what I'm doing right now is to turn off the last light and show you guys what the night vision looks like when you guys do use it. All right, so this is what the image quality looks like when you guys turn night vision. So if you guys think about it, when you guys put this into your baby crib, this is what you guys would see for your baby when you guys do use it. Let me turn back on the light and show you guys what happens. All right, so the night vision turns off and this is what the image looks like. And this is what the audio sounds like as well. Now let's turn back on all the light. All right, so I can see when we do test out the product, it definitely does work and it works quite well. So obviously when you guys use the slot, it works a lot better when you guys put in your kid or your baby. And the reason why is because it will give you guys a lot more information. Like we see on this page right here, it show you guys everything that's on the actual charger that I did not show you guys earlier. Let me show you guys really quick. So I do unplug it. On this screen right here, when you guys do use it, it'll show you guys the stats information as well. Let me try to put my finger on here and show you guys what I mean. So I can see right there how it does pop out on the light. So pretty much for that light, it means the kid is moving. You can see how I'm moving my hand, it's blinking. So if you guys ever forget, you guys can take a look at this user manual. They do provide that information, which is really nice. But not only does it show you guys that information on here, but also show you guys on the app. If you guys do set alarm on here, you guys can press the button bottom to snooze it. So everything in this package or for this product is actually very nice, especially if you guys do have kit to keep track of their movement, whether or not they're feeling good or not, and also to see whether or not they're moving a lot. So that way you can keep track of where they are, especially when you guys use the camera, you guys monitor them as well. I love the fact that how they do give you the mounting option for you to mount it onto your baby crib. So that way when you guys set it up on your baby crib, it can look downward at the kit when you guys do look at it, or you can put it down on the table like this to look at it as well. How you guys want to set it up that is totally up to you guys. So that is everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing Pada, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality baby product to actually use as a baby monitor. And if you guys want to get something like the baby socks to keep track of the movement of your kid and the temperature and whether or not they're crying and etc. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't want or have one of these, obviously don't buy one and save your mind something else actually do need. 
So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.